Hey everybody, Zoki, Surf and Turf Metal Technic. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Hush! Hey, I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> hey, so we're doing something a little different today. There's Dave. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, so we are actually in the bottom of a dry lake. So we've hunted, I've hunted several ghost towns before, but I've never hunted a ghost town under a lake. So today we're doing it. We are hunting. This lake goes way, way back. And uh, there was a town over on the other side of this hill over here that uh, got flooded when this lake was created. You can see the road coming in over there, right along that tree line. Oh yeah, right straight in front of us there. And so, we'll pop over this hill and you'll see more. Cool, man, let's check it out. All right, here's where the town itself used to be. You can see is underneath right here. We got foundations foundations you got these little sticks that are all in the line like old fence posts can't hunt it it was out in the water but we got railroad trestle or railroad tracks this is gonna be cool man this is gonna be muddy sloppy and nastiness but it's gonna be a lot of fun there's building foundation and another one so it's kind of strange just hunting a town that was underwater and then I just kind of started thinking, I'm like, dude, I bet back in the day there's something cool around that old tree. I don't know exactly what it is, but it is a coin. And I just pop this bad boy out right here. See what it is. Oh man, is that an Indian? I think I see a wreath on there. Hey, I was way off. It wasn't a, it was an Indian, but it was a different kind of Indian. Yep, folks, that's a buffalo nickel right there. Right by the old tree. Man, that's cool. A little squeaker. Yeah, there's a buff. I don't know, I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Second find right by the tree. Got an old suspender button. Hmm, I'll take it boss I gotta say it's one of the craziest places i have hunted next to underneath uh, those, school, those couple schools i know it's been hunted before there's holes and metal sitting on top of the ground there's my tree where i found the buff and i found the lantern part over there I found those buttons and uh, i got silver now i'm gonna rub it because she looks toasty there's the blackest murk i've ever found right there so I'm sure it'll clean up, be kind of cool looking when it cleans up. Mercury dime. It's aluminum. Dave's killing me, man. All year long, he's been killing it on the tokens. The token master. He found a good for five cents in trade. Ooh, baby. That's beautiful. Cruz Brothers Alder. Alder, dude, outstanding, man. Yes. Nice, fine. All right, we about got rained out at our uh, lake, the dry lake. It started filling back up with water. It rains hard, and <laughs> we got a nice permission here. Uh, old uh, mill house. It was like the boss's house for the old mill, and we literally got over here. Dave dug a sprinkler head over there, and and I my first sign, fish signal is a token. No doubt. Man, what does that say on there? Woo, baby. I'll take that token. Sure not an alder token, but this token looks pretty cool. You know, this was a company mill. This was a... It might be script. It may be script. I don't know. I'll clean that off with something good. I was uh, sticking my pin pointer in the plug. It's uh, probably about four inches deep. Got silver Washington. Oh, looks like I made it by one year. What's that say? 64? Hmm. I'll take it though. Nice. 